Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and another new day here in Canada. It's coming up to five o'clock in the morning. I'm about to get Dean out of bed. He is still fast asleep. I'm up and almost ready because we're heading somewhere quite special today. My absolute favourite place in Banff National Park, possibly even my favourite place in the world. We're headed to Moraine Lake. And we want to get there nice and early, number one, for the sunrise, and number two, to get a parking spot. I'll explain more on the way there. Let me get Dean out of bed, and I will see you in the car. and welcome to the Valley of the Ten Peaks and Moraine Lake. So we managed to get a parking spot about an hour before sunrise. We hiked up to the sort of top of the rock pile and set up camera and basically we've been shooting ever since. It's now an hour or so since the sun has risen. We're still just, well I've just been taking so many pictures. It's an absolutely stunning stunning place this is my favorite lake in Banff hands down you can see why it's so difficult to get a parking spot here it's just unbelievable I'm gonna stop showing you me and start showing you the lake
So it's called the Valley of Ten Peaks because there are ten peaks. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's one just behind this tree there. Ten. Look at that reflection. It's just absolutely unbelievable. I could sit here all day. I hope some of the shots that have been taken are kind of doing this place justice. I don't think it's possible, unless you're looking at it with your own eyes, to appreciate just how unbelievable this place is. Like, and I'm just having a moment of gratitude. Like I spent so long looking at pictures of this place online, wanting to come and see it just once. But now I'm stood here again, on a second trip, seeing it in completely different conditions. So it's like seeing it again for the first time because it just looks completely different. The, the lake this morning was like glass. It was like there was 20 peaks around us. Honestly, I just, I just feel so lucky to be looking at it and just come and see Marine Lake with your own eyes. Don't take my word for it that it's beautiful. Come and witness it because I don't think there's many places in the world that get much better than this. It's unreal. Unreal. It's Jean down there with my camera. Cold. Very. <laughs> I could murder a latte. You could murder a latte. I don't know where you're going to get one there from. Just look. Look at the perfect reflection there. I don't think we got reflections like that last time we were here, did we? No. Don't think it was that still. So I've scrambled down this kind of rock face. Dean didn't fancy it. Just to get down to the shoreline. And you can see the 10 peaks a bit better. One, I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. But twenty if you count the ones down there. <laughs> Look at the clock. Like, I could take a picture of that, flip it round, and it would just. So, this is the Marine Lake Lodge. You can stay there. Dean said he did look when he was pricing up the Fairmont Banff Lake Louise to surprise me. He did price up this one because he knows that this one, I love Lake Louise, but this, oh my God, this lake. So he priced this one up and he said <laughs> it was just an absolute no, the price to stay there, unsurprisingly. It's a photographer's paradise but it's also just, you, you, I'm looking at it and I, it doesn't look real. It doesn't look real. I, Mother Nature is just spectacular. Oh my God, that's a rock slide. <gasps> I thought that was a train, that noise. I don't know if this is coming out on camera. Can you guys hear that? I thought it was a train and it's loads of rocks. Like a rock slide. I was thinking, where's the train? I guess that just demonstrates that, you know, that was rock sliding. How easy can it be when it's all snow? 
hurt to just get a little bit too heavy and just start sliding. You can see all the dust still here. That noise is the child playing with the echo. <laughs> Yeah, God, that was that was strange. That noise, I was like, "What is that?" And then I thought, "No, it must be what the, the one of those cargo trains going past somewhere again." But it was a rock slide. Wow. So Dean and I brought our breakfast with us. Dean's already had a sneaky one. There was four in here. Where's that gone? A um, crow. A, cr a crow? Yeah. Wow. Can't say I've seen many crows. Canadian crow. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't a Canadian goose? No, it was a crow. A Canada goose. Black crow. I've not seen many of them. This must have been a rare, rare circumstance, that. Did it at least say thank you? No. <laughs> But yes, I can definitely think of worse places to sit and eat a raisin brioche Danish pastry. There's going to be a day very soon where I'm sat eating a bowl of cornflakes in the kitchen thinking, oh, what would I give? So there's the car park there. And we've sort of walked up to this rock pile. So you can see now the wind has picked up and that reflection is gone. From this morning. What oh, way did you go? Oh, it's got to be different, haven't you? He's a bit long. <laughs> this is rubbish, yeah. Everywhere you look is just amazing landscapes. Like, look at the sun. Getting off that mountain and the larch trees there. So this is another thing that they have in place to help keep people safe against bears. They have this um, sort of sign that says whether it's mandatory or recommended for you to travel in a group of four or more. And it's obviously just because a bigger group of people is going to deter a bear more than like one or two people. So at the moment it's only recommended, but when it is the time of year when it's mandatory, you can be fined a lot of money. For not complying. Do you know, I was wondering when I was over there where all the dead trees had come from, and it's from um, avalanches sweeping the trees onto the ice, and then when it melts, they drift, drift over in the stream. And here they can see that the stream is obviously running underneath them. Wow. 
So this is the rock pile that we were just at the top of where those people are. Now we're on the the proper lakeshore. I sort of walked down to this bit here. <laughs> Probably the safer way rather than scrambling down that rock pile was to come down here in a long dean. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, now we're looking at that. We've gone kind of hazy. It's pretty cool. Like low cloud drifting through them. Dean's gonna attempt to skim a stone in Marine Lake, aren't you, Dean? Attempt. <laughs> Go on then. It's just gonna flop, you know, you know that, don't you? God loves a try, yeah, come on. Take two. Practice makes perfect. It's in the flick of the wrist oh. and you have to hold the stone flat and it has to hit the surface flat. You did? That counts? Once you do. I can't I can't. My granddad tried to teach me loads of times, I can't skim stones. So the other reason I feel lucky to be here is because that road, that 11 kilometre road that we drove up this morning that gets blocked as soon as the car park's full actually closes next Tuesday. It's Wednesday today, so next Tuesday it's closed for the winter because it's not safe for people to drive it in the winter. Normally it will have snowed by, night, by then and it's just too treacherous for people to drive. The snow gets too thick, so they close it for the season and so we're here in the last week that it's open for 2022 it won't reopen again until june because that's sort of how elevated and the wilderness of this environment really i don't know how else to explain it like this will remain frozen over sort of october till june that's how cold it'll be so i think maybe late may early june the the road reopens again so yes very lucky to get here and the reason the car parking is such an issue is because there's a lot of hikes that are popular this time of year that also go from here. So the Larch Valley hike is very popular because the larches this time of year go that gorgeous golden colour and everyone wants to see them and it's a whole valley full of them. That goes from here. So that's where a lot of people are parking and then walking to Larch Valley. It's about five kilometres there, five kilometres back. Dean and I, we are thinking about doing it. But I think... The best solution for the parking is to put like a four or five hour time limit on it. And then if you go into hike, maybe get the shuttle in would be the better option, I think. So that you're not hogging a space for the whole day if you go and hiking all day. Some people even go to the back country from here and have gone for days. Go camping out there. What I absolutely love about being down here is just seeing all different people enjoying this amazing place in their own way so you've got someone over there that's sketching the view kids skimming stones people taking photography people just sitting looking at it just everyone's enjoying it how they want to yes the canoe docks are closed and see see june 2023 so that's when they that's when they reopen Imagine staying in one of these little lodges. You look nice, eh, Dean? Yeah, With that huge window. There's like big fireplaces as well, like little chimneys. Yeah, or there's like, they look like they're smaller hotel rooms over in that direction. Not like a full on lodge. Yeah, but I'd want a window facing, facing towards that well you're getting really for these ones i know no i know but um wowzer i can understand why they're more expensive though can you it feels a bit more i don't know exclusive secluded. Se yes secluded that is the word i was looking for thank you
So we have been here enjoying Marine Lake for what time is it? 12. 12. We got here about 10 past 6. <laughs> so almost 6 hours. That's what photography does to me. I go into like my own little world and time doesn't exist. And in that view, you just get lost. You just forget the world exists looking at that. Um, but nature is calling and that means I'm gonna have to use the horrible toilets I was telling you about in yesterday's vlog. <sighs> Dean, have you got your hand sanitizer? Hand off for It's all right for men because you can stand up. Times like this, I really wish I was a boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to brave it. The girl's face. A girl's just left from the cubicles and her face was not good. I'm not gonna use that one. She looks thoroughly disgusted. <sighs> okay, I'm going in, guys. Wish me luck. So this is the infamous parking lot for parking at Moraine. As you can see, whilst it may look big, when you think how many people want to visit the lake and go hiking from here, it is just not, not big enough. And obviously they do not want to start hacking down any trees or anything to build a bigger car park and I agree that shouldn't happen but we just read, read on that sign that you need to book a place on the shuttle yeah as we were leaving there we thought a lot of the spaces down sort of on the lower half of that parking lot was like sort of disabled spaces and that's why they were empty turns out they were just empty and the road surprisingly at 10 past 12 is open there's cars going past us the other way so they're letting people in so whether it's just a quiet day not too sure what's going on with that because when we've been driving past what time did we drive past on monday three wasn't it also something around then it was just an absolutely no chance whereas now 10 past 12 there are parking spaces available so hmm, weird one <laughs> So I will fill you guys in, we've actually driven back to Banff Town again, we wanted to get something to eat, we were absolutely starving, we didn't really have much tea last night and then breakfast was just a Danish pastry and like a breakfast bar. So we wanted a substantial meal and we've come back to Banff and we're thinking of having something to eat and then maybe going and renting one of the canoes that we saw yesterday, either that or hiring a bike, depending on what time we finish with food. The bikes do look good though, well they both, they both look like fun and in this weather you can't go wrong really. It's a little bit cooler today which is nice, it's still lovely and toasty in the sun but not unpleasantly hot which it kind of was bordering on yesterday wasn't it, especially at midday. Yeah. It was a bit unpleasant. A bit more cloudy isn't it today? Yeah. More yeah. So and I think I might have picked a location that I'd like to go and shoot at sunset and then we might. The other thing is I need to buy a swimming costume so we can go to the hot springs and we might go there this evening. So that was the other perk of Banff is there'll be somewhere here that I can buy a swimming costume because it's the one thing I forgot. There's always something isn't there? You do do rent swimming costume. No, they don't. No, they do. no. I'm not. I'm not renting a swimming costume. That is disgusting. Oh no, I couldn't. That's like when you forget your PE kit at school, and they make you go into the the lost and found bin and, and dig something out. I'm not renting a swimming costume. I'm sorry. If that makes me a snob, then so be it. But I couldn't. I couldn't rent that. It's like renting someone's underwear. <laughs> no. Nice top you've got on there. 
good. Yeah? Do you want to turn around? No, all the way. Look at that. Now, I wonder, wonder who persuaded you to buy that? I, I spotted it. Mm. Let's be honest. Who told you if you don't get that, I'm going to be mad at you? Yeah. I was really annoyed that it was men's, to be honest. It was the last size as well. Sale, wasn't it? Yeah, so last you... size. To be honest, if I did it as men's, probably wouldn't have caught me on. It's only £12. Had... Huh? It's only £12, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. If they'd had more sizes and more of them, that was the last one. I don't care that it's men's, I'd have worn it. I love it with the paw print on the back. I'm surprised why it's got two burgers on the way. Are you hungry? I'm actually starving. I've had a. What were them things I had? The brioche, raisin brioche bun I had. That's it. All day. I've been up to Everest and everything. Come on now. He loves to be dramatic, doesn't he? I love how you're claiming all this, but at Marine Lake, you basically park next to the view. It's not like you have to hike there. It's another reason it's so popular. <laughs> you don't have to hike anywhere. You just have to go up some of the steps to get a better view, but it's not tough going really, is it? To no. be honest. So you've got a beef burger <laughs> on the way, and I've got a bison burger on the way. Interesting. I forgot to mention in the vlog that the bison burger was hands down one of the best burgers I've ever eaten. And Dean really enjoyed his beef burger, so Eddie's Burger Bar gets a big thumbs up from us. We absolutely loved it. Having fun there. Doing all the work, like. <laughs> he did say the person at the back is going to do the most work, and the person at the front gets to be co-pilot, aka videographer. <laughs> uh, what? Captain, we're going off course. No, <laughs> oh, look at that mountain behind us! It's beautiful out here. It's nice and quiet when I'm not yabbering on. Much like when we did kayaks in Florida, it's, we've started bickering over who's rowing harder than who. We're just going from one side to the other at this point because Dean keeps steering us off course. <laughs> can see but just there by that log is some kind of four-legged deer-like creature. Dean at first told me it was a moose. He spotted it first he said there's a moose up there. It's definitely not big enough to be a moose but it is something. Let's see if we can get a bit closer to it.
Once we got a bit closer, we knew this definitely wasn't a moose. This is actually a female elk. It's a type of deer. They are quite common around the town of Banff. They are wild animals, but this one does have a tag on its ear just for monitoring purposes. They do like to check that they're not get, getting too close to the town. They can cause a problem and be dangerous during the rutting season. So they do like to monitor their whereabouts. And then just a bit further upstream, there was a stag elk. You can see why during the rutting season when they're looking for a mate and they can get a little bit aggressive, why they can be dangerous with those huge antlers, but they're just absolutely stunning animals. We were so excited to see one so close. Sorry, actually, and it's not like I'm trying to get audio of those birds or anything. Just clang your aura around. As we were heading back to the dock a freight train went past and scared all of the elk that were on the side of the river by the train tracks so they swam across right in front of our boat it was so cool to watch them swimming Well, after our nice little relaxing canoe, Dean and I tootled over to Vermilion Lakes, which is really not very far from Bump, literally like a two minute drive. And we've waited for sunset. And finally, we have some drama in the sky. This isn't gonna come up very well on this video, but look at those clouds. We've got some orange leaves, so this is how I framed it up so the leaves are kind of framing the mountain and then you've got that dramatic sky and now there's like a tiny patch of light on the mountain which is really nice look at that mountain lighting up nice and pink over there we've got quite a lot of colour going on but in this direction that mountain is lighting up lovely so what is it I always tell you guys? Go for a spectacular sunset. You need some clouds. Case in point. Admittedly the more spectacular part of the sunset is the opposite direction, but just a bit of, they just add interest having some clouds there.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of photography there from Vermilion Lakes. We have come home for an early night. We've been up since quarter past four. Well, I have, I got Dean out of bed at five. So we're back in the hotel, we've lit the fire. We're gonna get cozy, have a couple of snacks maybe if we get peckish after our burgers. And then we're gonna be getting up early again tomorrow, I think. So if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see what else we get up to whilst we're in here, whilst we're here in Canada. Let me know in the comments as well what you think about those photos that I was taking at Vermilion Lakes. Bye guys.